So literally what it is is there's a team that has created an opportunity for a raffle in the event that you go vote for them. So you, a person would be entered into a raffle after they vote for them. Ryan, you want to share any other details? And then I'd like to get some input from everybody. Sure. So that's the gist of it. Uh, one issue I didn't mention is that it's not specifically outlined in the rules that they can't do this. Um, so we did ask them not to purchase votes, but it's somewhat of your perspective on whether or not this is purchasing votes since it's kind of a raffle. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a gray area. And so I guess that's one of the reasons I wanted to bring it to all of you to just figure out what should we do in this scenario. I didn't really feel comfortable making this decision on my own. So. Thanks for the meeting this morning. It was very helpful. I know Ryan has gotten some information, and I think a couple of you other guys have found out some in information, too, that you want to share. So before we leave for the day, I'd like for us to get a decision on this issue so we can continue moving forward with the, with the uh, contest. So uh, anybody had any other information you want to bring to the table? Yeah, I actually found out that one of the other teams participated in that voter exchange program where uh, they basically exchanged votes for two different competitions. Oh, wow, wow. And that's a one-for-one one exchange. Exactly, exactly. Uh, that, that could be seen as a form of currency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Okay. Anybody else? I think another one, another team was auctioning off votes. Ah. Uh, mm. I'm don't, not sure how that works. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They've taken creativity to a whole new level. Uh, so this is, this is great for us to explore. Well, the good thing is we got an opportunity to talk with a couple teams. And, uh, Ryan, you participated in those. What, what did you find from those conversations? Uh, basically, I mean, one thing that stood out is that none of this stuff was behind closed doors. You know, all of these things were public. They were actually excited about the integrated marketing strategy. They used a number of different approaches to get votes, and this was just one of them. Um, and, and again, one team even said that they spoke to an attorney before they uh, chose to do it just to make sure it was within the rules. And so right now, I feel like I'd have a hard time disqualifying that team uh, given where we are with the rules. And maybe, like you said, it's an opportunity for us to improve the rules in the future. Sure, sure. Well, I talked with a couple of our judges and a board member, and they shared the same opinion. In fact, the reality is we were not very definitive in terms of our rules. And so every team, even with these new examples, operated within those rules. So one thing we can do is clean up the rules a little bit better, but then also I think a great way to turn this around in a positive is use it as a teaching moment for all of our students and even maybe some of our student chapters, but then we can use it as part of our strategy moving forward for the competition because as someone said earlier in our first meeting, this could be an opportunity for us to use some of these strategies out there to help all the teams get more exposure and more votes, which is really what we're trying to do to spread the word about ethical leadership anyway. Thank you.